this is my Sichuan guide and let's start with the jungling. First of all ask your mid character to pull the blue golem so you will have some extra free damage on him. I like starting with a Weebrough Pendo and uh, HP, Regeneration, whatever bread, Phoenix bread. And start with your W, this is an AE damage, so you will hit the big golem and the little lizards. And after this you will get a level up and then skill your Q, this is Arctic Assault. And this allows you to charge into the vaults, giving him a debuff slow, which will strengthen your W spell so it's easier for you to kill them. And here you can see that you are able to jump or charge through nearly every wall in the game so this allows you to jungle a little bit faster and to finish off these wraith. After this you will go to the golems and finish the big one off with your smite and then just kill the small one and after this I like going back with Sejuani and buy Boots of Speed and the Health Pot because now you're able to gank pretty easily with high HP so there's no danger that you will die or something like that and yeah after this just kill the red one and but you don't need the red one for ganks because due to your awesome passive and your arctic assault so now we'll come to the ganks Thinking with Hejuani is pretty easy because you have this awesome passive on your auto attacks and as you can see here your Q Arctic Assault goes through enemy minions and will only stop if you hit an enemy champion so this allows you to be very mobile if you try to gank. At this point I see Vagar being pretty low and I am pretty sure that he is not seeing that Cassidy will get a level up in a few seconds so I decided to go around and go in. Yeah, I think Kassadin would have died here, but this allows me to grab a kill. And as you can see in the chat, it was exactly what I thought about Vagar. On this point, I see Riven on top dying to Urgoth. Pretty unlucky. And I decided to go for the kill. So you can see her awesome range. Just Q, Flash, Ultimate, and yeah. Due to the splash damage of the Ultimate, Ogot is down. If you throw it from this direction, you will have a splash damage due to this angle. Since Sejuani's damage is not that high, she's not able to burst someone down, it's pretty nice to have some help while ganking, because you are the supporter while ganking, you can say. You have the slows and yeah, so as you can see here, this guy has absolutely no chance. And have an open eye for easy ganks on the map, so you can grab kills like this. And here you can see that I am using my Arctic Assault way too early, but due to Nasus and my awesome slow, Vladimir has absolutely no chance. Let's come to the item build. When going full tank, I like grabbing Mercury Trades, a Warmox, and a Sunfire Cape. And depending on your enemy team, you can choose to have more magic resist or armor. If you want to try off tank, you should really use Wiggles, a Trinity Force and uh, Riley's Crystal Scepter. This is pretty awesome and yeah. Comment, like and subscribe if you really like this video and here you can try another video of mine and subscribe. Thanks guys, see you next time. This video is brought to you by TGN and is part of the Way Movement. If you want to learn more visit TGN.tv and don't forget to subscribe.